guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 91,000 subscribers. We hit 90,000 after all this time. We finally did it, guys. Thank you all so much for subscribing. It really means a lot to me. It's just, it's so crazy to think that I'm like less than 10,000 subscribers away from 100,000. And I, I think back to like five years ago when I started my channel and I had this dream to get to like 100,000 subscribers and it just seemed impossible. But it just shows, guys, a lot of you ask me all the time, like, what's it like being a YouTuber? How did you get so big? What, like, what can you do to like tell me to, what can you tell me to do to like make my channel grow and stuff like that? And honestly, guys, I tell you all the same thing. Dedication is the key. Commitment is the key. You've got to do what you got to do to be able to do what you want to do. And that is just like, sometimes you are miserable. Sometimes you do have bad days and you just got to stick to it, man. You just got to go with the, just go with the flow. And, uh, it's, it just comes, it comes, but it comes in time. So thank you all so much guys. But that is enough of motivational mic today, guys, because we're going to have to get on with the video before the people in the comments, the little haters out there are going to start commenting. Ooh, ooh video starts at one minute because I'm too impatient to wait. <laughs> but also guys, follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And as you guys know, I recently started a Facebook account so you can add me on Facebook and we can be Facebook friends. So go do that. Link is in the description. And finally, be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. But once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy pasta. And today we are talking about the dark truth behind Hey Arnold. But enough of the jibba jabber, let's get right over to the story. The dark truth behind Hey Arnold. About every 90s kid knows the Nickelodeon series, Hey Arnold. The show about a small boy with an odd shaped head. That's about the first thing you notice the oddly shaped head the characters have. We'll get back to that later on. I want to tell you one thing first. The show is not fiction. It has all happened. That's why there are a lot of life lessons in it. Arnold is a boy who lives in a fictional city. The city is actually New York, the poor area of New York. It's clearly visible that Arnold lives in a ghetto. He's just a poor orphan, living with his grandparents, Gertie and Phil. Well, he believes he's an orphan. He actually is the child of the people he believes to be his grandparents. The grandparents are mentally unstable and told Arnold that his real parents of normal age died in a plane crash. That's not true at all. Because Gertie and Phil were old when they made Arnold, he was born with a few conditions. One of them is hydrocephalus. That's the reason that his head has such an odd shape. There is one type of hydrocephalus, the one that Arnold suffers from. That's called the Arnold Chiari syndrome. That's the reason why the creators decided to call the boy Arnold. Gertie and Phil themselves are mentally unstable. This is because of their age. This is also the reason why Phil sexually abused Arnold. Phil said to Arnold that it's totally normal that a grandparent does this kind of stuff to their grandchildren. Arnold is being bullied for his oddly shaped head. This is where another condition that Arnold has comes in. Because of Gertie and Phil's old age, Arnold suffers from several psychological conditions. This makes him see things that aren't there because he's bullied a lot. He escapes to an imaginary world with imaginary friends. That's the reason that the other characters have weird shaped heads too. It makes him feel like he's normal and no one can pick on him because of his head. This is also the reason why Arnold believes that his parents are his grandparents and that his real parents died in a plane crash. His condition makes him believe that this is reality. But the reality behind the series is way worse. It is reality. It tells the story about a poor boy living in New York. It's all based on facts. When the creators got lost in New York, he accidentally got into a poor area. 
It was really late, so he decided to stay at a hotel. Then, he came across a nine-year-old boy, the child of two people who were clearly too old to have children. He saw that the boy was mentally unstable, and he believed in all things he made up. The creator decided to talk to the boy. He felt really sorry for the boy when he discovered the boy only had imaginary friends and would die if he didn't get the medical care quickly. He felt like he needed to do something. So he asked the boy if he could tell his story. And then he'd make sure that the boy's life would become better. But he didn't. He just used the sad story for a TV program. He just took advantage of it. All the misery was so successful as a children's program. He became rich and didn't care about the poor boy suffering. He did not tell anyone about the way he came up with the idea for the series. He knew that if the truth would come out, it would all be done for him. No one would support a program created by someone who became rich over the misery of someone else. The secret was well kept for so many years, but when it all came out, one of the important people from the Nickelodeon found out. The show immediately got cancelled. So now you all know it. Where the idea came from, what it really is about, and why it ended. The boy is probably dead by now. We can't help him anymore. But please, make sure no one takes advantage of someone else's misery ever again. We can help all those poor kids in the ghettos, but not by making a program about them. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I'll be looking in the comments for all your comments saying, Oh, you ruined my childhood again, man. <laughs> It's a sad story, I feel you. But don't forget, guys, it's not true. It's just a creepy boss that's just made up. It's uh, it's just a theory. It's not actually real. So, but hey, it's a pretty cool story. Very depressing, very sad. Childhood ruined, hashtag childhood ruined. But honestly, guys, I never really liked Hey Arnold that much. Uh, it just wasn't one of those shows. Like, I used to watch it now and then, um, but that would be when, like, um, like, some of the other shows that I used to watch back then. Um, <clears throat> Sabrina the Teenage Witch when that ended uh, I would usually watch like Hey Arnold and uh, you know it was just one of those things that I would watch if there was no nothing else on um, but I never really got into Hey Arnold I just thought it was kind of like it wasn't really funny like I liked funny stuff like like I said Ed Ed and Eddie and things like that <coughs> powerful <of> girls <coughs> um, yeah I liked funny things like that you know funny manly things but my question to all of you for question of the day is did you watch Hey Arnold growing up? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please slap a like on it. Let's see if we can go for 100 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys didn't see my previous video, which was the true story of the Rugrats, if you guys didn't see that, you can click it right here on the outro and watch it. If you want to watch another random video, you can click this side and it will, you know, play a random video for you. But remember the most important thing of all, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all. Don't let anybody bring you down. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Peace out.